Hey, hey everyone, my name is Sabrina and welcome to your daily dose of Reddit. Please hit that subscribe button if you get a chance. Um, we're gonna start right now with what's the scariest encounter you've ever had with a total stranger? All right, first one. I was once driving in the country and it was pouring rain in the dead of night. Sounds scary already. So hard that I was driving very slowly and I couldn't even see the signs. This is before GPS. I mean, I've been never been in rain this heavy. I had to pull over to the side of the road to try and see the sign to see if I was going in the right direction. I didn't get out due to the rain, so I was craning my neck forward to try and make out where I was when suddenly the passenger door opened and a man got inside the car. Wow, that's scary. He sat down and looked at me. And here in South Africa, there's a fair amount of violent crime and hijacking, so I instinctively started panicking and yelling and screaming at the top of my lungs flailing my arms to try and do something, anything, to stop this guy from attacking me. <laughs> wow. He started screaming as well in terror and he jumped out of the car. I quickly leaned over and closed the passenger door and sped off down the road. I was breathing so heavily at this point and trying my best to calm down, nearly in tears. Oh, wow. I suddenly dawned on me that it was probably a hitchhiker that I hadn't seen who thought that I was pulling over to give him a lift. Oh, jeez. Only to be greeted by me screaming and trying to hit him. This was probably his scariest encounter with a stranger as well. <laughs> oh, jeez. Can you imagine? Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's check out this one here. So this one says, I was a 21-year-old female at the time. I was in a store picking up some items for my house when I noticed a man was literally peeking at me from around the corner. I first brushed it off and continued my shopping, but was aware this man was following me around the store. I've had this happen to me, too. <laughs> he then sang out to me and said I looked familiar and asked if I went to the local university. I I didn't so I said no. At this point I got creeped out so I checked out and went to my car. I heard footsteps behind me and knew he had followed me so I jumped into my car and locked the doors. It was dark so I hadn't noticed him go around the back of my car until he banged on my passenger window. Wow that's scary. I ignored him and started the car and this prompted him to run around the front start banging on my driver's side door trying to open it and asking me for a ride. Like what the hell? I was terrified and I just pulled out of the parking space as fast as I could and drove off with him chasing my car until I rounded the corner. I have no idea what his plan was, but to this day I'm nervous about dark parking spots at night. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, let's take another look here. This one should be a Dateline episode for sure, or 48 hours, either one. I was taking a shower in the bathroom of the walkout basement. My three-year-old son was upstairs with my mother eating breakfast. I heard him open the door and told him, Mummy is in the shower, you have to wait. The door didn't close, but he didn't respond either, so I asked him to go back upstairs and ask Gram Grandma for whatever he needed. Mmm. Instead, I see a shadow and an outline of a hand touching the shower curtain and realize that there is an adult in the bathroom. It's not my son. I scream and punch through the shower curtain. I don't think I connected, but I would heard the man run out anyway. As fast as I could, I jumped out and grabbed a towel to check on my son and mom. At the same time, my mom was coming down the stairs to see if I was okay because she heard me scream. The man never went upstairs. They didn't even know it happened. The walkout basement door and window were open. I called the police and they didn't find him, but they did just my empty wallet about a block away. Wow, that's, that's really freaky. They did come back to me a few weeks later to tell me that they caught the guy in the area who's raping women at gunpoint and they think it was the same guy. I've never been so scared in my life. <sighs> Wow, she dodged a bullet there. This is the most visceral part for me, was knowing he was just standing quietly in the bathroom while I talked to him like he was my son. Honestly, I don't even know why, but that creeps me out the most. It felt really violating at the time. That's really horrifying, and uh, yeah, definitely she could consider herself lucky. Okay, here's the last one, guys, and uh, wow, what's a crazy world we're living in today, I tell you. <laughs> um, this one says, not scary per se, but deeply disturbing. A random dude at my local library accosted me while I was enjoying a new sci-fi novel and was absolutely convinced I was his son. He kept telling me he was sorry and he never meant to kill my mother, who he called Pink, and said some other heinous shit I won't describe. Bat shit crazy, but he sounded so rational and calm the whole time. The shit gave me the creeps for a long time after. Wow. It's definitely stuff that you remember. All right, that's it for today, guys. What's the scariest encounter you've had with a total stranger? Um, we'll check you out next time. Thank you again, and please subscribe.